Good morning and welcome to Atherton On Air. I'm Anana Delaney. And I'm Bea McCarty. Here's what's trending. Over the past several years, JCPS has taken steps to ensure high school seniors are prepared for what comes after graduation, whether it's college or the workforce. Atherton has the highest number of post-secondary ready students in the district. Here's what administrators have to say about the accomplishment and what it means. So post-secondary readiness is an indicator that the state of Kentucky uses to determine if high school students have displayed certain attributes that they think will be beneficial to them in life after high school, rather either in college or career. As of today, we are at 97.6%, which is not only the highest in Atherton history, it is the highest overall in JCPS. It's higher than manual, it's higher than Brown. And we're not going to stop because that, that final 2.4% still eats at me. Uh, and so we're not gonna stop until we're there. And, and so that's my goal. Do you have so all that's very exciting because traditionally Atherton had been, um, you know, all academic and uh, college focus, which is great, uh, but sometimes, you know, we might have students that don't care to go to college, and that's okay. They might have other interests, or they might have advanced interests in college. They know that they want to go to college for a certain thing, and so this career readiness piece really gives them a leg up in whatever direction they decide to go when they leave us. It's great to see our seniors ready for their next steps. Speaking of seniors, as the school year is winding down, there are mixed feelings about their high school careers coming to an end. Um, I'm pretty sad. I've enjoyed the past four years, so it's kind of um, surreal like knowing that we're not going to be here anymore and we're not coming back next year. Um, but I am excited for graduation, like graduation parties and stuff. I feel really bittersweet um, about it being the last six weeks. It's been a long four years, so I'm just excited to graduate, but like it is sad because we've all been through so much together. I'm definitely excited for school to be over. I'm more excited for graduation. I just feel like it's going to be such a fun moment. So right now I would say I'm pretty excited about the end of the year and all of our like senior activities, but I just know that once like the end of May hits, I'm just going to be so sad. I can't believe it's the last six weeks already. I know, I feel like spring break was just yesterday. Did you hear that the Marine Biology Club traveled to Dolphin Island, Alabama over the break? They explored the local wildlife, learned about the ecosystem, and more. Here's Atherton On Air correspondent Isaac Smith with the story. Alabama is the sweet home to both fish and our marine biology students when they took their spring break field trip. Miss Bennett explains what they did. Sure, we went to Dolphin Island Sea Lab, which is in Dolphin Island um, on the Gulf Coast of Alabama. And it's a facility with those educational activities all about um, the ocean environment for different school groups. My favorite was definitely going out on the um, research vessel. It's basically just like um, a big speedboat and we were able to trawl up fish that <laughs> after we were done looking at them, we were able to throw them back into the water. It's really fun watching all the seagulls <laughs> catching the fish. I really liked uh, going on, uh, there was like a forest walk that we did and our guide was really nice. Uh, she was great. Um, we saw an alligator, that was pretty cool. So every time I'm at the beach, there's always new organisms that I don't know about um, and lots of um, things I haven't, maybe haven't thought about but that I hear students ask questions about. Um, so that, yeah, I'm always learning new things. Looks like our Ravens had fun. Let's jump to the hallway headlines. We're in the hallways and here's the headlines. This is the last week to purchase your senior quote. See Mrs. Rice in room 125 or your English teacher for a form. Please plan to support the Service Service Club summer final big sale on April the 27th. They will feature chili dogs, hot dogs, walking tacos, Papa John beaches, and popsicles. The boys track and field team finished in second and the girls finished in sixth last Thursday at the Fairdale track meet. Congratulations to all the top finishers. The Ravens return to the track competition tonight at Mail. Thursday, April 27th is the Ravens girls lacrosse senior night. The varsity game starts at 7 o'clock. Come out and support our senior players. Are you and a friend interested in adopting a tree on Atherton's campus? You can name and care for your own very tree by scanning the QR code on the screen or by visiting the Environmental Club's Instagram page. That's, That's it, for it for the headlines, headlines and, and we'll see you in the hallway. hallway. High school always seems to have all the drama. <laughs> Atherton On Air correspondent Larkin Ivory takes it to the halls to get their reactions on some silly rumors. 
So, word on the street is that Coach Tudor has just retired and that you're about to be the head coach. Man, How do you feel? What's the game? Ain't, man, that's, what do you mean? No, <laughs> that ain't the word on the street. He ain't retired. It is word on the street, Coach. No, uh-uh. How do you feel about being named the hottest incoming freshman at Atherton High School? Uh... How, what? How does that even make sense? I, I literally just heard this. I've, oh, I so don't how know. do you feel? Like, how does it make you feel? Uh, yeah, how do you feel about the video of you doing the stanky leg at prom spreading around? Uh, I haven't seen that video. What are you talking about? Huh? The video of you doing the stanky leg at prom. You were like this. You're getting real stanky <laughs> with it. Everybody was yelling, P U. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm gonna have to see that video because uh, I don't think that actually happened, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, rumors are circulating that you're going to box Henry May in two weeks. Do you feel confident that you're gonna win that game? I don't know if he wants to tell him, but if he sees this, he knows. He knows that we're gonna have a good match. And one of us is probably gonna get knocked the f out. That's good to know. The rumors are terrible and cruel. <laughs> That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. For Atherton On Air, I'm Anana Delaney. And I'm Bea McCarty. Have, Have a, a great, great day, Ravens. Ravens.